Hey guys, Abner Miranda here. I'm out here on the range working on some videos for you guys and I thought I'd take a quick break and have a bit of a rant. It's not really a rant. It's just uh, something that came to mind. As I am finding myself shifting from being a media contributor to the firearms industry to being a trainer to the firearms industry. Well, I'll be frank with you. I'm finding more and more freedom in and really in the last couple of years actually I've separated myself more and more from being the magazine writer that says hi this is Abner Miranda from so and so uh, could you send me a sample of you know blah 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 for testing which truly guys is is how it works in the industry in fact I'll just give you a quick rundown on how this works the firearms industry has taken a black eye from the people who call themselves media because they don't actually answer to an editor-in-chief the way I do but ultimately that YouTube sensation person doesn't answer to an editor-in-chief and uh, the manufacturer ends up getting burned by sending out you know free T&E product and they never get any return on it so when I got into this industry in 2005 I presumed that everyone else around me was as passionate about learning, primarily learning, and secondarily shooting as I was. And over the years, I have been sorely, sorely mistaken. And in some cases, not so much anymore, but in some cases, shocked. The level of, of, of disdain that I've seen from people, from certain people in this industry, who almost have this mentality of attrition where it's like you know we're gonna make this little widget and we expect people to buy it in mass and we don't really give a flying flip if it really suits any uh, serves anybody's needs or, or solves anybody's problems there are more manufacturers out there that have this mindset than you think there are and it's really painful to have to say these things but the further I separate myself from being a media contributor the 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 more freely I can speak. What you guys don't understand is when you are a media contributor, if you come across a bad product, don't bother writing about it because your editor is going to squash it because the publishers, whether they be print or digital, are going to squash it because if there is, you know, if there is a tactical widget that you have and it fails, and you as a writer say, you know, this thing wasn't that great. I mean, you could flat out call it crap and absolutely no, that's going to get killed. But even if you say, you know, it just didn't really work as advertised, today's publishers are going to go, let's polish that turd some, shall we? And, he, and you're basically left with me media, as media going, how much do I want to polish this turd? And you get to the point where you go, not so much. With all honesty, the reason that I don't even bother writing about things that I find that don't work is that I know what the process is going to be, so why, why waste my breath? I contact the manufacturer and I say, your little gizmo didn't properly work, here's why I believe it didn't work, give me a shipping label and I'll send it back to you. Many times you never ever hear from that publisher or from that manufacturer again, and the sad part is, I'll find that little widget showing up in somebody else's article and they're like, oh, it's the best thing since sliced bread. And I'm thinking, you're an idiot. Either that or you sold out. Guys, this industry needs a major, major comeuppance. If you are a consumer, I'm talking to the private citizens right here, okay? Because our industry has been so busy selling us a bill of goods for a long time. But guys, you guys and gals, you are the ones who are opening your wallets and your purses to go out to training, to buy things, to keep the manufacturers in this industry on their feet. And pay attention, look around you, ask questions, uh, reach out to different people, get into forums, be careful with the forums, but get into forums and ask questions. There is a lot of junk out there and we are fast approaching a segment, a sad portion of, of our history as a, as a firearms industry where man there's almost more junk than there is good stuff out there good stuff glocks glocks are good stuff right 
pay attention to this industry because we are being lied to in mass and we're expected to not ask questions and just keep opening our finances up to manufacturers and giving them money for junk ask yourself a very simple question why is Abner no longer wearing or carrying anything tactical if you have any questions put them below I'll answer them. brutally I'll answer them. as always I thank you guys for watching God bless you all get those guns out in practice have a good one